שלום. Throughout history and everywhere we have lived, Jews have stood up when the people were doing the wrong thing and fought for the right thing. That is our historic role. In America, we have fought for the rights of workers, of women, of African American and people of all races, of poor people and the homeless. This is our contribution to the world to question authority in order to fight for justice in the face of all opposition. We seek to do the right thing. But how do we know what the right thing is? Well, I know you look at Hebrew school at the moment and you think to yourself, ugh, it's so boring. But the truth is that when we learn the stories of our foremothers and forefathers and about things like Jewish ethics and Jewish customs, what we're really learning is how to tell the difference between right and wrong. We're learning how to be good people. We have a rich tradition with 4,000 years of ancestors who have fought the good fight to give us guidance. And that's really the value of Jewish learning. Think about the Jews and all the injustices in the world. Judaism is basically a series of ethical and religion teachings that gives us the power to rise above evil and promote justice. Judaism is the source of our knowledge and the source of our power. Yet, Judaism as a religion finds itself in a crisis. Before World War II, there were five million Jews in America. Since that time, however, 1.2 million Jews have immigrated to America, mostly to avoid religious persecution. And today, there are less Jews in America with an intermarriage rate estimated to be in the excess of 50%. So you need to ask yourself, what can we do to ensure the survival of Judaism? As Jews, you have a history and a religion that has brought you right to this place at this particular time. It's yours for now and forever. Own it. Judaism teaches us that all human beings are created in the divine image and therefore are linked to God by the divine spark within them. Judaism teaches us how to nurture the divine spark within us, elevating us in moral worth and dignity and linking us to the divine. Judaism rejects intermediaries. It is never the responsibility of any one individual to determine and define our lives. We can learn from a great many individuals, from prophets and sages to ordinary people. Judaism teaches us that the revelations of God cannot be limited to one document, person, or time. Life, knowledge, and reality are alive and changing. Therefore, Judaism cannot be bound by any particular text without the possibility of modification. The improved status of women today is one result of this perspective. Judaism teaches us that ritual without ethics is not only fruitless, but idolatrous and anti-religious. Ritual serves the purpose of implementing and embodying the ethical and spiritual dimensions of Judaism. Ritual should never be a substitute for ethics or charitable acts. Judaism teaches us that the world is a work in progress. Judaism is a call to creativity, a call to make ourselves, our society, and the world into something better. Judaism deeply values the search for truth. It is a religion of strong ideals and ethical and spiritual principles. Judaism teaches us that the severest consequence of evil doing is that it separates one from God. Such isolation not only becomes a spiritual death, but it ultimately destroys one's creative potential. Judaism teaches us the importance of embodying democratic values and stresses the significance of education towards fulfilling our mission. Judaism teaches us to fulfill our obligations and our promise as a people. It compels us to see the world with all its faults and teaches us that its evils and injustices are a call to make the world a better place and to engage in charitable acts of loving kindness.